हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टॉपिक क्राइम एंड क्रिमिनलिटी थेरोटिकल पर्सपेक्टिव इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल कवर द वेरी फर्स्ट सब टॉपिक ऑफ दिस मेन टॉपिक व्हिच इज अर्ली एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ क्रिमिनल बिहेवियर लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस लेक्चर नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल क्राइम एंड हिस्ट्री ऑफ मैन काइंड कीप इन माइंड दैट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ क्राइम एंड मैन काइंड ऑन अर्थ गोज हैंड इन हैंड since the very earlier days of human being on this planet the incident of crimes are being taken place but the nature of crimes and the method of dealing with those who commit crime kept on changing and evolving with the passage of time today we see that there are various types of crimes and so there are a number of different laws also but this was not same throughout the history the scenario was totally changed in the past crime in early period remember there was no any concept of crime in the earlier time of mankind on earth crime was not considered as a violation of law it was so because at that time there was no any legal system which could devise laws and the violation of them was considered as the crime so in such a situation there was no proper concept of crime but it doesn't mean that people were not committing crimes at that time there were such activities but these were considered as just an issue the term crime was not attached with these issues so if any such incident was happening then the masses sought out their problems by taking help from either natural laws or religious laws theological perspective theology is basically study of religious faiths and beliefs in the earlier time when someone was committing the crime the masses of that time used to see those acts through the prism of religious beliefs and faiths there was no any difference between a crime and a sin at that particular time today any act against the law of a state is considered as a crime whereas any act against the teachings of a religion is considered as a sin so there was no such a division at that time every wrong doing was judged through the prism of religious teachings for example if natural disasters attack people of any village then they used to say that there are some non religious people around them therefore the disaster happened the thing to understand here is that those early people used the religious beliefs and faiths to consider all the wrong doings there was no any legal system present at that time supernatural explanation of crime furthermore the masses of that time were so strong on religious beliefs that they were of the view that whoever is committing crime actually he is not committing crime but some evil devil forces are there which compel him to commit crime they used to say that if any wrong doing is taken place it happened because of evil forces so they were basically considering a wrong doing as something backed by devil so at the earlier stage the crime was explained in this way besides crime the punishments on these wrong doings were also very different from that of today there were inhuman ways of punishments at that time like they used to throw culprits in hot boiling oil they used to cut the fingers of alive men and so on but with the passage of time crime got its definition after which every society devised a legal system and made laws to protect citizens from crime through this long journey crime and laws against crime got their current shape so this was all from today's lecture thanks for watching this video like share subscribe and now forget to press the bell icon for more videos goodbye